Hey YouTube, let's talk about drugs. Unfortunately, this video isn't about the fun kind of drugs, it's about the painkilling kind of drugs. Which, depending on what type of painkiller it is, it can be the fun kind of drugs. But I'm not going to cover those in this. So, there's a couple different types of painkillers that you can take. There's ibuprofen, there's Tylenol, there's Advil, and then there's the magic narcotics. Uh, oxycodone, morphine, stuff like that. I'm going to cover the ones that are over the counter that you don't need a prescription for. So mainly acetaminophen or Tylenol and ibuprofen. One is an anti-inflammatory, ibuprofen, and one isn't acetaminophen or Tylenol. Gotta stop calling it by its drug name. When do you take which one? So let's say, for example, that you've got a little bit of muscle soreness, um, and you were doing some really heavy bench and your chest is sore, but there's no joint problems and everything's free flowing, you just, it hurts and you've decided you want to take something for it. In this case, you want to take something like a seed, a minute, Tylenol. And the reason for that is, is the inflammation around the muscle is actually a good thing. When your joints are, or sorry, correction, when your muscle is a little bit inflamed, that's your body's way of repairing itself. So you don't want to take an anti-inflammatory because you want that, in, uh, anti or that inflammation present. And that's actually going to help the muscle repair better. If you take an anti-inflammatory, it's going to loosen up the muscle, and yes, more blood flow is going to go to it, but it's actually going to be a little bit counterproductive. Biomechanics and wound, uh, muscle healing and wound healing, I'm not going to get into, but you actually want that inflammation. So Tylenol is going to help kill the pain at the muscle, but keep the inflammation in place. So that's a good thing. So if you've got muscle pain, Tylenol is your way to go. Let's talk a little bit about a joint pain, though. Same example, you're doing heavy bench and your shoulder joint hurts. It's not the muscle, it's not your chest, it's not your deltoid, it's your shoulder joint. In this case, this is when you want to take uh, an anti-inflammatory like ibuprofen. Why? Why don't you take acetaminophen? Well, here's the thing, you could take both, but the reason that you want to take an anti-inflammatory is when you have joint inflammation or inflammation around the joint, it's going to restrict your movement and that can end up causing more damage because as, you need your joints in place. You know, you go to let reach for something and now you're tearing or you're doing more damage to the joint uh, inflammation. So you take an anti-inflammatory, it's going to reduce the inflammation and allow more blood to get to the joint as well as increase your range of motion without the risk of doing more damage. So muscle pain, Tylenol. Joint pain, ibuprofen or, an an or another similar anti-inflammatory. Really simple uh, guidelines for uh, drug well, painkillers with regards to... Uh, muscle pains and joint pains. The other thing that you can do is, uh, with regards to joint pains, is you can actually take ibuprofen and Tylenol. But what you want to do is take your Tylenol, or correction, your ibuprofen is your main painkiller because that's going to have the anti-inflammatory effect. And then just take a small dose of, of Tylenol and that's just going to help with any uh, excess pain that you might be feeling. This is what we call an adjunct effect. And an adjunct is effect is when one medication mixing with another medication actually creates a better effect, such as painkillers. Um, however, if you got that muscle pain, stay away from the anti-inflammatory for now. Synopsis. Muscle pain, Tylenol. Joint pain, ibuprofen. Really simple, right? Why didn't I just say that at the start? And then I could have saved you guys like three and a half minutes. Anyways. Uh, make comments down below, and if you have any questions, go ahead and post them. And as always, eat like a bodybuilder, train like a powerlifter.